Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jake here from Scritter. And today I wanna to look at 2020 in review. What a year it's been. I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy. And today we wanna talk a little bit about what was going on in the Scritter universe in 2020. This was a year of big milestones for our company actually. And we couldn't have done any of this without you all. So thank you very much. So let's look at some of the numbers here for 2020 and let's see how we did. One of the biggest numbers this year for Scritter is we have now served over 1 billion reviews. And that means that all of you since 2008 when Scritter started have reviewed on Scritter over a billion times. That number is just mind boggling to me. And I know that when I was talking to Nick, Scott and George about this number, they were just stunned um, by the fact that something that they created as a college graduation project turned business has now been able to accomplish this. I mean, it's remarkable and it's all because of all of you and the hard work that you're putting in in Scritter. This year in particular, you were all fantastic. You studied over 83 million items on Scritter. There were 1.4 million characters learned. You spent over 162,000 hours doing review. That's 18.51 years. And you all had an average retention rate of 87.7%. So those are some of the numbers from the apps this year. The Scooter community this year has been growing as well and we can't say thank you enough. We have over 10,000 subscribers on Instagram. We have over 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. We participated in a Hacking Chinese challenge this year that had over a thousand hours of log study time um, for vocabulary. And it was super fun to see this happening in the community, you know, on Twitter, on social media, um, on Instagram. We're seeing the hashtag daily Scritter getting used. Uh, and we now have some new Giphy emoji that you can actually use. So if you're sharing on Instagram and you're watching this and you want to post your own study progress, um, you can go and search there. It's pretty cool stuff. Our mobile applications this year have just been fantastic. We hit over 100,000 installs on Android this year, which just feels so good. We've had over 30 beta and production builds released this year with some cool new features like Time Attack, like Rust Squigs, which is a pen and paper mode. We even have our new in-app courses, the first one being launched for the Animal Idiom video course. Um, we've had over 1,679 positive reviews on all of our applications, and we have an average score, 4.62 out of five. These numbers are remarkably incredible, and every single day seeing these positive reviews come in, hearing your feedback, it just makes us wanna build a better application. And that brings us to the future and what's gonna be happening in 2021. We're gonna be doing daily streaks and goals. We're gonna be working on that progress update. It's coming, it's gonna be coming soon. It's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna drop season one of the time attack. That thing has been in beta for a long time. You are all putting some insane scores out and we wanna turn this into a little bit more of a friendly competition uh, moving forward. We are gonna be dropping our 17 episode Chinese character course. This will cover 145 characters that you need to learn and all the theoretical knowledge that you need to master 10,000. We're gonna have more interesting collaborations and more integrations with some other fantastic Chinese content creators out there. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So stay tuned for 2021. In terms of 2020, for me personally, I think I speak for the entire team just to say that we're so thankful for all of you. We're thankful to be in the position that we're in. You know, we've seen an uptick in people engaging with Scritter. And I think that, you know, this pandemic, this stay at home orders that we've all been under for so much time, we're spending some of that time doing some good stuff and learning some Chinese and Japanese, which is just remarkable. So 2020 for me personally studying Chinese, it was lots of one-on-one -on -one Chinese lessons. It was lots of hacking Chinese challenges. It was more reading. It was more just studying in general um, and getting in the daily habit of studying Chinese. That's going to be all for me from Scritter for 2020. I want to wish you all a very happy holiday season. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you again in 2021. Thanks everybody. Shots and Bye-bye.